All right, boys, caught you in the hotel, made you sit very close to each other for an impromptu chat. Yeah. I think it's funny because everyone looks at that Dustin Poirier fight like it was the, the big coming out of Connor early in his, earlier in his career. And I wanted to know what you two remember of that entire trip from the very start to the very beginning, uh, the start to the beginning, the start to the end. I, I remember being called literally like Thursday night, I was teaching a class. Roddy, what are you up to? He says, uh, I'm just teaching the class. Do you, do you want to come to Vegas tomorrow? <laughs> I was like, tomorrow? Like, tomorrow? like as in Friday? Yeah, yeah, come to Vegas tomorrow. I was like, I can't, I can't really just come tomorrow. Like, He says, well, look, just get it sorted and, and, and get over. And then that was it. Was on, on the next plane out, 24 hours later, onto a plane out to Vegas. So <laughs> that's my first memory of it. Is it really the same? Yeah, for I me mean, it's, it's a unique situation, right? You wouldn't get those last minute calls all the time, you know? Uh, no, no, definitely not. <laughs> Um, for me, it's uh, being at the Red Rock with Artem. We got in a little bit earlier and we got put up in this room. It was just unbelievable. But we didn't realize that we actually had a driver and we could order whatever we wanted. So we were like getting, um, basically getting taxis downtown, eating on a budget and coming back. And then we found out after two or three days, no, you have your own driver. <laughs> and you've, a, you've just order whatever you want to the room. So then it became bathrobes and lobsters <laughs> and steaks and they had a chauffeur bringing us downtown and then uh, and we thought we were in the best room that's ever been made and then we uh, when Connor arrives we get put into the real room and then you know it's one of the nice actually probably still is the nicest room I've ever been in I had the pool uh, you had a pool table everything pool related <laughs> uh, yeah so that's 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 my big standout can yeah. you do you recall it being the fight that he blew up in was that the fight for you that you thought, wow, he's going to be a superstar? Uh, for me, yeah, without a doubt. Um, it was obviously it was the first time he'd fought in Vegas, fight capital, and um, That's him there. Here, here, he comes. here we go, yeah. Um, and you know, there was just, there was a lot on it, you know what I mean? But um, he, you know, kind of rises to the occasion every time, and and to win and put on a performance like he did. Um, and the amount of orders as well, I remember the amount of orders that travelled over for that was insane, you know. We, went, we weren't expecting that, but uh, it was just a sea of green and kind of goes in, does his, does his thing uh, in, in that fashion and, you know, he finally, he, he arrived, you know, that's, that's, that's what I remember from him. For me, it was, uh, that was a little bit older, we remember the mania of the 90s in Ireland with the Jackie Charlton and the World Cup and all that. And uh, that's what it reminded me of. And I remember at the weigh-ins, when we walked out, in the, uh, out out to make weight, I wasn't sure how we'd be received. And I was shocked that Dustin was actually booed. Oh, yeah. And Connor was cheered. I was like, wow, I guess we have uh, some fans here as well. And then we start getting all those videos, people on the, thousands of people on the elevators all singing songs. And it really, you could tell we were, we were part of something pretty special. Do you remember Dustin hating Connor? Do you remember the whole pre-fight stuff? And he couldn't, you know, you see, you look back at their face off where he, you can tell he's like just tense and shaking. Do you remember him? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do remember. He, he, he was emotionally invested, you know. Um, Connor plays a very good game, you know. He's very good at getting people in people's heads uh, and, and getting reactions out of them, you know. And he definitely... Um, he definitely got uh, Poirier rolled up and, and, and uh, had him wound up pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's never hated anybody as much. No, no, I think that, that was, was the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the quote, yeah. Jesus. It's how funny is it now looking back at that, that Connor's like, well, I'm going to beat him twice if he doesn't get over it, and here we are for a rematch. Do you prefer the fact that that's... I mean, sometimes that's fun, obviously, and we all, in, we all enjoy it when Connor's being witty and funny, but is it nice to have the rematch without any of that, and it's just skill versus skill? Yeah, it's good both ways, you know, it's good both ways, but yeah, you know, we're all getting a bit older and, and um, you know, personally, I love the, the, the charity element to it as well and the fact that uh, the result of this will be, you know, a half million donation and I think they're going to build a gym, so to, to have another great MMA gym, I don't know, will Dustin be involved in the coaching there, I presume he will, and that's going to help on the next wave of fighters and I think that's what, where they are with their career, that's where it's about. That's what it's about. It's about giving back and, and to be able to do something fantastic like that for the area. And those guys, that's what got them where they were. Was coming up through coming up through gyms and, and being mentored and coached and, and helped. And now that they're going out of their way to put effort into doing that for the next group is is brilliant. It's fantastic. Mm. You feel the same? Yeah, I feel the same. I mean, it's it's. Uh you know, the first fight, they were a lot younger and stuff like that, you know, they were trying to make their names in the sport, but 
that they're both, you know, established, you know, you know, they're gonna be Hall of Famers, they're gonna be renowned and, and, and remembered for, for for the fighters that they are. So they don't need to prove anything anymore and you know, they're gonna go in there and showcase their skills and and um, and, and as you said that the charity aspect is, is amazing. The last one because we're all slightly sunburned out yeah. here. I'm on fire. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm wearing. Just, a, you're, you're just gonna start to see smoke coming <laughs> coming out of my arm. Coach Ruddy's on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. The last no, thing literally. I wanted to ask you was, uh, I saw a face to face. What's that? What's happening? Yeah, we don't look at each other anymore. Yeah, can't believe. Can't yeah. believe I got you this close. Yeah. There's big news coming. Yeah. Um, so we're we're both part of the. Uh, the Warrior Training Program family, and for the first time, we'll have uh, the north side versus the south side, the Battle of Dublin. Yeah. We are starting as soon as we can, as soon as, as soon as the gyms reopen. But so far, we're at plus 400 registrations yeah, to wow. be part of the two teams, and we'll have a f fantastic finale during the summer. And I see all records being broken for a, uh, a couple of thousand people watching an amateur yeah. event, and it's going to be great. It's, it's going to be a fun, a fun experience for me to to coach against Roddy and. Yeah. and um, yeah, we, we both take on this group of people that are starting from scratch. I'm going to check Roddy's group because he'll have a few bangers in there. You know? <laughs> Some guy there, 12-time national champion yeah. or something. <laughs> but, um, Lo load of, load of you know, wrestlers from Eastern Europe. A load of, a load of <laughs> toy boxers. from? A load of toy boxers from Toyland. <laughs> Drafting people boxers. in. Yeah. But it'll be, a, it'll be a fun experience. And, and he, he's going to win? Oh, really? you... You fucking bastard! <laughs> oh, I was afraid to move just in case it jumped at me. Who done that? Was that you? Was that you messing? <laughs> the game has been going for the Battle of Dublin. Uh, we'll leave it there. Oh, good. Yeah, leave it there. That's a good ending. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> fucking making me hold my own mic. I should have somebody standing here. I hope you're not recording there. <laughs> <laughs>